My name is Nick. I'm here with Tufi Saliba, and we are going to do another episode of This Week in Hypercycle. Tufi, where I see this magnificent background. Where, where pray tell, are you? Well, this is one of the, the future cities that used to be desert not long ago, and it's called Abu Dhabi. And uh, these uh, guys, uh, they've been ex excelling at... Uh, growing that uh, infrastructure and i feel like uh, kudos to them and they have like this uh, fintech week happening so uh, got invited by a few uh, alliances and partners and uh, folks that they are working with us and uh, decided to pop in and uh, meet uh, some new people and uh, validate some of the aspects we're working on it seems like uh, one full day after another. So it's uh, it's quite exciting. So one of the things we want to talk about today is <clears throat> a lot of people in the you know community are asking when this, when that, when, because there's a lot of things that are rolling out. And especially when you get way ahead of the roadmap, as you guys have consistently done, sometimes mm -hmm. it gets, people are overwhelmed and then they forget that there's like milestones that need to be achieved and things like that. So I thought one thing would be cool is if we talked about the hypercycle timeline in your in your in your thoughts over say the next twelve months, and what do yeah. you think that might look like? Yeah. So, um, given that we have accelerated the plug and play for this uh, spring, we have also accelerated the AI compute for uh, this coming uh, January. Uh, the volume of the AI compute is going to be significant. So we're not really saying it's like, oh, you know, I'm just going to like do AI compute to generate some like images for my mom or whatnot. Like we're talking about like millions and millions of users. And um, remember, we're B2B. So it's more enabling our customers to power businesses early on. So given given those uh, signs that we we see right now, uh, and we, from our perspective, when we start touching those elements, we feel like, where are we going to be in a year from now? I feel like uh, the uh, our uh, ecosystem will start uh, getting to be composed from two uh, different uh, crowds, the informed, the uninformed. Okay. Um, I shared the message with our internal group. Um, you know, it, it, it gives us, uh, it puts more pressure on us to kind of like do more effort to get people to be more and more informed. Uh, but at the same time, it's kind of like, uh, you know, uh, folks kind of need to meet you halfway to kind of buy the ticket, you know, like that. Uh, David, David, help me halfway buy the ticket, you know that story? You know, you don't know the story. Oh, okay. So it's uh, this guy, David. Uh, apparently, he happens to go to the synagogue every Saturday and he tells, uh, he prays to God. And uh, obviously, if he goes to the synagogue every Saturday, he's, he's Jewish and he tells God, like, uh, yesterday in this lottery ticket, look at so and so, but won it. But I'm a devoted, like, Dude, taking care of things, doing everything by the book, and I'm not winning it. And he has this conversation with like him and God every every Saturday for over 30 years. And finally, the skies kind of open up on a Saturday, and then deep voice from the sky says to them, David, David, help me halfway and buy the ticket. <laughs> so you gotta you gotta do your part, buddy. <laughs> right, 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 right. So, so, so I feel like it's uh, so. There's a, a. I've already started sensing like how the like our community. They're some they informed, some they're not informed. Like those that are informed, they're already getting further ahead in so many different ways. They started like catching on on like, what's that uh, tilling thing? Why am I benefiting from the tilling? Uh, why is it important to put my uh, license to work? Why is it important to put my token to work? Um, as opposed to the uninformed where they feel like, 
holy shit, this Bitcoin thing is two dollars. I'm gonna sell it. Somebody give it to me for two cent. <laughs> right. So it's like, you know, so, you know. So, so like, let's yeah. do this, Tufi. When so we're thinking about the next twelve months. Let's take it. Um, the next thirty days. Are there any things that people? I mean, I know we have. Uh, the international AI to AI copyright announcement that's within the next 30 days, right? What, are, what are the things can we, can the community expect in thir- in the next month? In the next month, there are going to be a lot of marriages, pretty much everybody who's aware of uh, those marriages. They know that this last Friday was a very final thing of like the audit to review. Uh, you know, th- does that mean that the, uh, they grant it uh, tomorrow or not, we'll, we'll, we'll find out. But point is that this, is, uh, this has been in the work for quite some time, just for folks to understand what, how powerful this thing is. This gives the ability to any community, large or small, let's say you know, you've got 524,000 tokens and you have a, li- a master license. What you can do with those today and for the last while you can actually marry them into like the machine as soon as that 1155 is out you're also able to get that 1155 certificate what this gives you the ability to start associating all that wealth creation into it so it's portable that's a b it has under it that you will get instantaneously lots of uh, ERC twenty W token. So it's kind of like think about it, it's like it's like an HYPC plus plus because this is like the HYPC. It's like your baby. <laughs> it's like you're getting your HYPC again, like you know, and uh, and then the uh, and then it will have on the other side of it this thing that's called the R token. Why do you need the R token? There rep share token well if you think about it initially let's say you own the whole thing you own the computer you own the software license you own the tokens you have uh, access to electricity you have uh, the data center and all that uh, when you have the R tokens you feel like you can give some of them to let's say the AI developer who's going to actually plug their AI there right it makes sense because you want to give them 25% Remember that 25% in, uh, in royalties. So let's say you give them 25% of those R tokens that give you the software. Um, you want those things to be done as much as possible in that fashion. So then you reduce the amount of like signing contracts and escrow and all of the stuff. You know, just like you know, the token, they, they plug the software, you're good to go. So the W token uh, on the other uh, hand, it gives you the ability for that wealth uh, creation that gets accumulated over time due to the proof of uptime computation. Remember when we said that there was the AI computation that we're channeling to our customers? Those are our customers, the ones that they bought the software. Okay, so if you bought that license, you are a customer of ours. So when we channel that computation to you, you no longer in your telling only do proof of uptime. You do proof of uptime and proof of computation. Remember the three things? Proof of uptime, computation, and what's the third one? Proof of reputation. Wait, wait for this one. This is this is it's gonna take some time. But two months ago, both of those things we were waiting until this spring. Right now we're we're getting this one in the winter, right? So it's like proof of computation gets added to the tilling, which means Nick. We did the math with the engineers. The proof of computation uh, adds a multiplier if you're running your machines properly or if you're giving them somebody who's running them properly of 1.55 per year to any wealth that you, you were able to create in proof of time to begin with. 1.55. That's huge added multiplier to your entire uh, the wealth that you're creating. So if the proof of uptime, let's say, used to be um, by the way, proof of uptime, the maximum it could get is 1.55 as well. So chances are the proof of uptime is going to be let's say, maybe 1.4. So let's say that uh, all things equal, you build that business 
and you spent a million dollars and a year from now it's worth 1.4 million that 1.55 if you take that and you multiply it with 1.55 and then you end up getting into a business that and and how do we do the math you were to ask like wait wait, wait. how do you do math well the way we do the math is that what does it cost for somebody to compete with you bit by bit bite by bite you know computation by computation how much do they need to spend assuming assuming that the token price is still the same like if it's higher of course it's going to cost them way way higher but if that is the same what would it uh, cost uh, for somebody to do that can i so, ask a w a w token question really quickly um so <clears throat> as the as the these two tokens would exist the the w token is the wealth generation token what would that look like for someone to actually realize a gain in that? What would that look like? So they have the wealth token. The wealth token is gaining. What does that mean for the average person? They're like, okay, so but what does that mean? What, what can I actually do? Well, um, if uh, someone wants to open exactly business like the one that you started today, let's say $4 million a year from now, and before – uh, when we talked about this back in October, we said we we already know about, uh, we announced on October 15th that the, the tilling, which was based on proof of uptime. Proof of uptime can get your million that you've invested uh, today into that business. If someone wants to compete with you a year from now, let's assume everything else is equal, they need to spend 1.4 million. That's basically what we're saying. Okay, that's, that's, that's what proof of time. Given that the, the, the proof of uh, computation is added to the equation, it's spent 2 million. So what does that mean for the W token? Well, the W token is what owns this. So imagine all this W token is one. That means that one used to be 1 million, now it's 2 million. But given that the W token can be many, so let's say you get, let's say... Uh, 1 million uh, W tokens, hypothetically speaking, okay? Or, or 1,000, let's say. Um, actually, let, 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 let's, let's say it is 500. Let's say you true, you, you're actually able to customize that, by the way. You, you own this business. Like, I own my business. I want one share. I want 100 shares. You can do whatever so you these want. So are, these are shares in your business, in your compute business. Those that they buy, and, and if I buy it, yes, it would be in my business, but Whoever buys this, the W token, try not to say that this is not security. The W token is security, okay? In 99% of jurisdictions, they're going to tell you it's security. The other one, the R token, 99% of the jurisdiction, they're going to say it is not security because this is like what you used to split the revenue between people that they're doing the work whatnot. But that divider is so super cool for folks to, to see, what am I going to do with this business? So... I gave you the example is if you are somebody who never ever worked in AI in the world, and now you can set up this business and let any AI to come in, plug their things, and you give them, let's say, 25% of the R tokens, and they're happy campers, okay? Now, uh, if you were to be the AI business, of course, then you get the whole thing, but maybe you don't, you don't have enough money to buy the hardware, you don't have enough money to buy the software. It gives you the flexibility to kind of put this business together and do something with it. The easiest way to answer your question, uh, Nick, is first, let's say you own the whole thing. If you do own all of these things, you own the software, you own the, so you own all those W tokens. If you own all of those W tokens and someone wants to compete with you a year from now, they need to spend $2 million. And let's say you've divided those million tokens to sort of say 524,000 tokens, let's say hypothetically, because that's how much you put, let's say that that's the number. That means that today when you started this business, if you were to split this ownership of your business with those shares, each and every one, let's say they're worth $2, someone who wants to compete with you a year from now, they need to spend $4, which also means that that someone may want to come and partner with you. May, or might buy it from you or might buy half of it and so on and so forth. So um, so that's very powerful. Now, now many people, they would be like, but um, is this, people ask me this question all the time, is this some sort of like those like DeFi tricks? 
that you just like, you know, shrink the supply and this and that. I'm like, well, the reality is that, well, the straight answer is like, no, it is not. This wealth creation existed a long time before electricity. The only thing that we're doing, we're introducing it to your machine. We're the first to introduce it to, to the AI machine, basically, because we can and we should. And we feel like if we do it for um, our customers, end up like gaining more. And the more we take care of our customers into gaining, the the better we we become successful. So that's why like our focus is always like our customers, 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 how they can become more and more and more successful. Um, so if you recall about six months ago, we gave that example, the coffee shop example. So that's not a DeFi coffee shop example. How you create that wealth in a coffee shop existed truly like hundreds of years before electricity. And uh, we're just introducing it to the machine. And somebody might say, but like, but why are you saying the million is 2 million? Well, it could be 1.5, it could be 3. I'm not really saying every single time it's going to be that. But uh, can a coffee shop that you spend a million dollars on today be worth 2 million a year from now? Same answer. It could be 1.5, it could be 3, it could be less, right? So, so that's precisely the same. When people, they're building those AI businesses, uh, AI over time is going to care about what's the proof of uptime of another AI before it actually asks it any question. It's a logical thing. The more you have a proof of uptime, the more likely to receive computation. Therefore, the more likely you are valuable. You know, business one one For the average person, two feet, let's, let's say somebody's got an eight-node license. Mm -hmm. uh, and they, they start, uh, they marry the tokens here, you know, in the next, say, 30 days. Uh, they marry the tokens, they get their 1155, and then they end up pledging their, um, you know, to, to hyper PG or hyper pools, something like that. For them, mm -hmm. um, managing the wealth and the revenue token are not going to have to be something they're going to, this is not something they're messing with all the time, right? It's, it's not. Right. Right. I think for uh, the average people, they receive those, they know that their thing is likely, well, first of all, they need to think about it as that's like, um, that's like uh, the plus plus component. So it's basically you, you already putting those things together because you know that the smart contract, whoever is taking that from you in a smart contract, they're guaranteeing something back in return. You know, such as like the EDP program, they say here, we're going to give you like 9% because we're going to use your tokens or whatnot. So with this thing that you know that you are going to get something back in return. Now, if the when I say like most average people, they don't have all of those components. They only have one piece. And because they have only one piece of that, when they're putting this, they end up getting one piece of that entire thing. You see, so... So initially I said, you own all of these things and then you own all of those 524,000 W tokens. But if you happen to have a very small component and you plug it into this, then you get a portion of those mm. W tokens. When somebody says that, okay, if I put a software license, do I get, uh, you know, 100,000 of those or you get 50,000 of those? Well, every proposal is going to be different. The suggested one that we put out in those numbers, I think that I shared with you a couple of months ago, they remain the same. We've actually done a lot of math on those. They seem to make sense. But some people, they might provide different formula. Why? Because they might come and say like, guys, we're not going to pay you 25% for your tokens because we have this amazing software that they cannot uh, do give it to us for 25% in, in uh, royalties, they need 60%. If they convince you of that and you feel like you want to give them the tokens for that specific pool, then that's great. You know, like they, 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 somebody's able to convince you that they're plugging in some super duper software into their thing and they give you a small percentage. Each and every one of those, they will follow that same small contract that all of it being audited. So when you look at the numbers, and agree to something, you're not agreeing with somebody that they can change their mind. 
they cannot. This is a smart contract. <laughs> if, they, if they put something there, that's how it's going to be for the duration of uh, what they get back. So, so if you only have one component, say you only have the license, you plug the license, then you would see what you're actually getting back from this thing. It says that your license belongs to you. You're giving me your license so I can work with it for like, let's say two years. I give you back your license plus plus and after at the end of the two years or during the period of two years, you get something back in return or something like that. If you give me the tokens, like it, it, each and every similar to how the EDP works, like they put put out what they're providing you and then you can choose to put your piece or not. But if you want to do the whole thing, Nick, then you would be on the other side, right? You put right. the whole thing and then you start selling it to people that they come in. So it would be for the average person, um, less than a master node, they're not going to have to have an advanced degree in particle physics to figure this out. It's going to be very easy. Um, yeah, no, a master degree is not going to do it. They need PhD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Right. No, no. I, I, I think it's just going to be super duper simple. And that's the beauty about like a smart uh, contracts. It's, it just gives you like b binary uh, outcomes, either works or it doesn't work. But when it does work, it works exactly how it says it's going to work. So, yeah. So if somebody says that I want to take a piece of that. They, uh, let's say, have 1,024 tokens. I plug them into this thing. Uh, I can plug them into this or I can plug them into the other pool. The pool that I already know, let's say it gives me 10%. I might be happy with that. Now, you might ask next, like, but what happened to this pool? Well, this pool is actually, it's actually part of all of those things. The, the pool that's giving somebody 10%, it's giving 10% because it's actually plugging into this, this entire uh, system. But given that this system is ready that it also enables people that they have license to plug their license because that the pool of license did not exist before the the upcoming weeks so you you have a, a license you can plug it into a pool that, that is uh, it's going to specify what it actually gives you back in in return um the license contract when i i think two three weeks ago when we announced that yeah, the audit came back to be super positive. I'm not sure if you recall, I was uh, I was in Seoul at the time, uh, and uh, and that uh, that's great. People they're happy with that. Some of them they started uh, getting their uh, it's it's a NRC721 that gives you the ability to take your uh, licenses in ETH as opposed to ADA. Um, some people. They take them, they split them, they give them to their communities, they do all kind of stuff uh, with them. Uh, some people, they just like take them and then they're waiting to kind of marry them with the upcoming marriage because they already have some tokens as well. Um, so, so yeah, so if you do the marriage yourself, chances are you get that marriage certificate and that gives you the ability to sell those W tokens or split them between you and your partners, do whatever you want to do. Or just do just, nothing. Do nothing with them and then, them. yeah. Just keep, you, you, you keep them, see what happens. Uh, in the future, somebody somebody might come up with some proposals saying it's like, yo, if you have the W token, I'm willing to give you this much because I really need to get into that business or whatnot. So um, what you be rest assured is that all the tools that the teams are building it, uh, our ability to have the visibility over that wealth creation. Whether you start looking at it from that tiny little hyper app box or whether you use some of the tools that they, they're, uh, they're like br browser enabled tools that they, you can point them at whatever nodes that you have or whatever nodes that they're giving you proposals and you get to see their performance, you get to see all of the, the, the stuff. Um, this is exciting. I mean, like this is like really watching that uh, baby come together with all of its own neurons and being put all together and forming that uh, uh, tiny little brain and and you know folks that they feel like they're part of that brain. It's yeah, they can they can just sit back and do nothing at this point and just watch their thing uh, grow. And if they choose to do a little bit more with it, they will be able to. So it's just it's it's. Uh, 
having the optionality doesn't necessarily mean the necessity of doing anything. Right. Just yeah. So now let's go out then a trimester. Let's go out 90 days. So at this point, 90 days from now, we're in, you know, uh, December, January, we're in February. We've uh, allowed people uh, to take their tokens, marry them to their licenses, uh, run them on their own hardware or perhaps a uh, hyper AI box or uh, other hardware or pledge them to a, a facility that has the infrastructure for that. But what else should we expect to see in this next three months? My, uh, my ultimate uh, uh, goal is having this thing in January, the AI compute. So which means in three months from now, uh, we're still here in November, three months, that's like end of uh, February. Um, you should be able to see that the AI compute's already been plugged into our, uh, you know, bloodstream. Um, this is this is extremely, extremely big uh, to me that, that that event happens. Um, not that it gives me personally any additional proof. I know the proofs that it's going to give me, but it gives uh, a lot of outsiders proof that there's like millions and millions of users that are being channeled through our bloodstream. Okay, so um, so that's that's uh, that's one. Just if you if you actually stop right there and just a story around that one, it's super huge. Like this is like a thing that it's uh, it's. It, infancy in this uh, day and age and it's already channeling those uh, but what other thing I, I expect uh, I expect a lot of uh, the businesses that have been investing in to actually start like showing some of the results um, remember we in hypercycle uh, we've been very frugal in how we operate our business and uh, most of the money that received from the revenue uh, we spend it uh, between engineering and powering this core, core Excel. Core Excel is our venture arm that we spend some amount of money on like those businesses, such as the hyper AI appliance and whatnot. Um, the, sorry, the hyper appliance, hyper AI box, hyper appliance, and the uh, hyper PG uh, copywriter, you know, uh, all, all of those. Um, in the new new thing you expect over the next few weeks is there's a company that uh, a lot of folks seem to be excited about and uh, i wouldn't really say uh, the name of it at this point but it's uh, uh, it's one cutting edge company that also added to, to the portfolio we have now eight and about to get number nine on december 8th and if we end up getting that Swiss one that I told you about when I was in Switzerland, it would be number 10 on December 15th. So look at that. I mean, we're, we're already giving birth to 10 companies in the last six, seven months. So when, you, when I talk about three months from now, I want to see them generating some results that they are provable to the world, such as like, it, it would be nice if hyper appliance uh, uh, you know went into their next batch of hardware how cool would that be like you already know about the hyper ai box right so imagine february when you and i are talking 90 days from now we actually show some other box that's already gone in production and they've already get let's say ten thousand of it or hundred thousand of it that is doing different kind of let's say ai compute so, you see, so that's one of the things that I would want uh, our businesses to to start showing that they're actually doing. Um, the hyper uh, appliance business uh, currently run by uh, Evan, and you know Evan was one of us with the, the CRO, and he's actually the, the CEO of that company. There, there's uh, at the same time that we're doing this thing in Korea. He's also launching the distributors uh, in Korea that they're called the, the Core Rator, 
you know, it's like a curator. And uh, they're, uh, uh, those, they, we're not even counting those towards that 10, but they are going to be basically one of our companies. The reason why we don't count them because they're more like a baby of our baby. So we just count our babies and if they're grandchildren, like let uh, Evan count that. Um, well, maybe we should actually, if, uh, if folks tell me, like, no, 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 we should, uh, we own some equity in it, let's add it on. I don't know. But point is that uh, there's a lot of exciting stuff that I feel like uh, in February, we should be able to start seeing some of those fruition, some of those proofs. Um, and when we see those, it empowers many, many of us to do a lot more than what we do today because those proofs, they are useful for folks that have never heard about the hypercycle. And, um, and yeah, and with that, I think you've seen some of the videos of the hackathon, and I think they're likely to come out publicly. They were supposed to come out yesterday. They will probably come out today or tomorrow. So stay tuned to that. So you, you're actually, you saw me at the hackathon. We did one of those uh, five weeks ago. Uh, the videos that they came out of the hackathon, they're quite exciting because I talked about them five weeks ago. And I told you there's like a video that's going to come out. The videos, you get to see the contestants in action, building their things, demoing it. And uh, you get to see some of the tools that you provided them of how they're actually uh, manifesting themselves. And that is at the hackathon that happened five weeks ago. There's another hackathon with MIT that is ongoing as we speak that I also provided a talk with Ben Gortzell on Friday, two days ago, with their uh, Open Mesh uh, partner. And that one was posted on Friday. And it's about like an hour where um, it's precisely 59 minutes and 58 seconds. And I actually made a remark on that towards the end. I'm like, whoa, look at you guys. Um, <clears throat> and that one, that talk is currently on I saw it on LinkedIn. They pu pushed it out, but I can I can send you the link, and if, if we can share it with the community, it would be great. Because we did talk about uh, the questions. They were deep, deep questions about the general AI and what's happening in the AI world. And Ben would give his answer, and I would give my answer. And you know, it's basically, um, you know, you, you'll get to see that like uh, there's a, a lot of forces that they try to split up great people but they end up strengthening us and it happened many times like you know between um uh, yeah, between you and me between ben between ben and i between dan and i between whenever there's like a strong forces they're doing some things they're great those are they misunderstand them they try to kind of like create try to you know because they master uh creating divide between folks uh but uh, luckily it ends up strengthening more the relationship because you end up building more and more immunity, building more great things. So, um, so yeah, so so that's that talk can give you a little bit of a glance of what's going to happen over the next uh, ninety days because uh, some of the components that we are going to start incorporating is in the ecosystem of hypercycle. There's a lot of desire of having a certain components be plugged in so then that they've been built for years and years and years and uh, of course uh, I mean singularity net it, it, it goes without saying but there's like other components from the ecosystem that they might also partake in this where would they fit into that equation that I have uh, described it's it's basically the AI compute we've already building that house is precisely for that um so so i expect some early integration in three months although it probably wouldn't be ready for the public to see it at the end of february so should we should we then in our minds let's push out now about six months what are we looking at six months six months you should see some of those integrations yeah because in six months from now we uh we're releasing the uh, plug and play and um, 
and the way it goes into phases towards like the uh, towards the fully open source is basically open source for those that they that it mattered to them. Um, there's two ways of doing open source development. There's one method that uh, it's uh, highly recommended by folks in the cryptographic world, like cryptography, that they tell you that you keep it close, 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 close until it's ready, then you open it because it's gone production, it has to be open. But then there's the other method that it's usually a lot more common between AI developers where you, you do it open, 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 because as you have it open, most of the feedback you're going to get from people in the, the open source communities to uh, enhance it because you're not building something that is uh, subject to attack vectors. So the more you have it open. So, so six months from now, you expect some of the elements that we kept them um, secret that they're going to be open source. Um, some other elements that they will slowly become open source. And the reason for that, Nick, when you talk about uh, full decentralization, if you, if you have a customer who says like, oh, I love your full decentralization, I want to get it. And you ask them, how many users do you have? And they say 1,000. Well, sorry, that, that's not really decentralization. 1,000, you can still kind of influence them in so many ways. But if, you, if they say they have a million users, then chances are you would want to uh, roll it into the million. So and this is when it becomes actually meaningful. And the point uh, that I'm trying to make here is that there's a certain trajectory of when all the elements become open source. But until then, in six months from now, you get to see many components of them. They start making themselves open along with the integration with the ecosystem. So it's super exciting to see that. And we're noticing a lot of cooperation from like the Singularity Net team and others. Uh, but uh, we are cautiously doing uh, those things in a, in a fully a loosely coupled model. And what loosely coupled means for those that they are in software development, they understand what it means. But if somebody is not software development, uh, it's uh, the quick way to explain it is like you have component A, it could work on its own. Component B, it could work on its own. They don't depend on each other to work. And the loosely coupled, they put them together so then they feel like if they both work, then that vehicle works fine. But if one of them for whatever reason doesn't work, it doesn't obstruct the other one from not working. Um, it's just that feature won't work. In, if it does work so so, th so that's uh, different than the tightly coupled the tightly coupled you end up depending on each other and it's either all the thing works or doesn't work so i don't uh, like the tightly coupled because it uh, becomes uh, uh, the extremely costly it takes more time and it's uh, very 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 hard to manage uh, all the components and make sure that all of them they have to work in order for this thing to work it becomes like this and that and this and that and 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 they have to work as opposed to this or that you get a vehicle working you see so then okay so let's now jump so we've we've married tokens we've pledged tokens we're running compute a bunch of businesses a bunch of subsidiaries um under underneath hypercycle doing all sorts of hardware atom space and electron space things so 12 months from now, and I know this is the, you never ask anyone in software development, where are you going to be a year from now? But Tufi, where are you going to well, be a year from now? Well, I think we, <laughs> we, we started the year from now. We went back uh, three months <laughs> and uh, six months. And, and, uh, and when we started in your questions, like in the next uh, six months, uh, 12 months, and I think that, uh, that's uh, a lot, uh, in general, that's uh, a bit easier to answer than the next 12 days. It's kind of like what uh, what uh, Warren Buffett says in investments, and like it's easier to predict the the the, the climate, uh, but harder to predict the weather, right? So it's uh, um, yeah, like the I, I truly think that uh, in the next 12 months is that many of our the di that divergence in the ecosystem is probably going to widen where folks that they're really uh, first of all as it's getting wider 
we're, we hope to grab as many people from the ones that they are not getting informed to be informed as much as possible. Uh, and, you know, like anything in life, people, they get more and more informed. They get to master that future in a way that uh, the others didn't. So we would want as many people in our community to partake in being knowledgeable because what's going to happen a year from now, those that they are knowledgeable of all of those components, you know, when you're uh, anecdotally, you said like you don't need to have like a uh, master's in particle physics. And I kind of said that joke of like, David, David, you got to meet me halfway and buy the tickets. There's there's certain amount of involvement that people they need to do that is a little bit more than what they are used to. And if I don't say that, I would be lying because it's another one I'll lie. Like, I would, like we need some of your intelligence to be part, to partake in this equation in order to maximize your gain. We need each and every one. They need to put on some of their, their intelligence. They might come up with some method into attracting more and more AI developers into this thing. Remember, we're giving you like a business you can run. They might, if they are AI developers, they might attract hardware manufacturers to come and give it hardware or whatnot. So we, we, we work as a community. We're building this, uh, this organism. So, uh, so yeah, I truly think a year from now that diversion is probably going to get wider when folks that they're getting more and more informed, they're, they're going to be uh, running uh, many of those uh, marriages and they're going to either be getting uh, partners into them and uh, or uh, they're going to be uh, owning them on their own either way it's uh, a business that currently is in high demand and there is no signs of it to slow down so the more people they are informed into how they can build it and maximize their benefit into their equation the better it is for them and for us you know, it's, it's, yeah. Tufi, do you foresee, this will be our kind of final question. Do you foresee 12 months from now that we will have had some of the first splits? Some, some nodes will be splitting by then, or do you think that's too soon? Yeah. No, 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 it's not too soon at all because we already started the, the telling maybe 60 days ago now, um, 55 days ago. But yeah, so I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, highly likely that uh, they, we will see some of the split for the uh, for that fir first level down um which is uh, going to be amplified by if it if you're only doing proof of uptime i would be skeptical but given that we're introducing the ai compute it's an accelerant of 1.55 so remember nick when you get a multiplier of two that's when the split happens so uh you know, the faster you can get to that, the, uh, the more. It, it, it's not like you can go faster than six months in each and every component. You can't. Like, the fastest possible thing for anything to happen is in six months as if all the stars are aligned. But here we're talking, you're saying, you're asking me a year from now for something already started 55 days ago in the telling. And I feel like, uh, given that the air computation is going to come into play, which is going to be an accelerant of 1.55. Uh, so I, I, I think it's highly likely we see a lot of uh, splits in about a year from now. Will it uh, will it um, happen to those that they have no idea what to do with those tokens still? They think it's just like some sort of speculation stuff? And the answer is like, no. That's what I'm talking about, the divergence. Like the you got to do they, the work. I mean, at some right. point, people have to do the work. Even you, know, you want to get a degree in finance, even if it's even if it's a junior college, you still have to show up and do the work. Right, right, right. And and the, and the metaphor here, if you were to use back in the early '90s, many people they said it's like, ah, oh, this thing they called the internet. I don't want to learn something new, but we know what happened. Those that they didn't want to learn it at all, they they don't have email, they don't have phone, they don't have all that. They just like literally as if they fall off. The face of the earth please don't fall off the face of the earth we need you especially if you're a community of hypercycle this you're one of the very rare 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 you know uh, uh you know human that that actually part of this thing that is uh, that, that is shaping uh, the infrastructure of the future of ai so we need more and more folks to uh 
learn more and more. And uh, we appreciate that the patients as they're learning more and more because it is not something that we like we have like some sort of curriculum. We're we're, we're inventing uh, the, the 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 curriculum as the road manifests itself in and, and so <clears throat> so we we we're truly grown as a community, Nick. This isn't something that we're building as uh, oh you know like because somebody's down the road here's what's gonna happen. Two years from now, somebody's gonna come and say it's like, "Oh, hey, you've got those HYPC at a hundred dollars. You're so lucky." But they don't, they can't really. Folks, they don't appreciate all the learning, all of the things that people are doing to build this thing to become that. It's not like just, it's just gone on its own. Each person's doing a little bit of the effort, a little bit of that, and you keep pushing in that the thing together to get there. It's not. Uh, it's a community work, uh, and and I appreciate every single person who's tuning in, who's actually listening. You're already partaking in this. This, this is all we we're asking. Like, you you don't need to do anything more than learning at this point. Learning, learning, learning. Just when, absorb. Right, right. And if those, when those, when the methods they come in front of you, then you know what to do. And if you know what to do, you test it out. You feel like oh, it needs some enhancements here, enhancement there. We really thank you for your patience in actually getting it done properly. We're we're building a new organism that did not exist before. We're building it together. So, so that's where we are. And uh, yeah, super excited to doing another one of the This Week in Hypercycle and looking forward to do the next one next week. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time, Tufi. And we will do this again. Toot sweet. Excellent. Thanks so much. Take care. See Bye-bye. Bye. Do you trust your crypto assets to centralized exchanges that actively sell your private information and front run your trades? Would you like to buy and sell your assets without any middlemen, intermediaries, or robots? Do you like paying slippage fees and having the price go up as bots steal from you on low liquidity decentralized exchanges? The solution is nodemarket.io set your guaranteed buy or sell price. No middlemen, no slippage, no bots ever. Buy or sell one, 10, or even 10 million tokens and you never have to worry. OTC trades are between you and the seller or buyer, guaranteed by audited smart contracts and no human middlemen. NodeMarket.io.